Hi there, this is Ranjit from tech2bus.com and in this video I'm going to show you some of the cool apps that we get with the Synology DS212J. We get a photo sharing app and we also get a music app and we can also control the entire NAS using a mobile phone. We have full featured uh, mobile apps for the iPhone and the Android and I'm going to show even those uh, later in the video. The two cool apps that we get are known as the photo station and the audio station and you might need to enable the same before you see them in the admin panel. And to enable the same we need to go to the control panel. While going to the control panel you just click on this audio station and just enable this check mark and again do the same for photo station. Enable the photo station. Using the photo station you can easily view your photographs on the web using the same. You can share if you like and we're going to upload a few photographs. You can create a new album by clicking on this and using the new album option. I have already just created a album in which I'm going to upload some of the photographs that I have taken with my Galaxy Note mobile phone. And to do that, we just hit this add option and we select this upload from our computer because the files are deciding on my computer. And these are all the files that I wanted to upload and I just select them. And as you can see, it is basically showing us a preview of all the files and I want to upload all the files and I hit this upload button. And now it's uploading all these files to our NAS. It might take a while because uh, depending upon how many photographs you are uploading. And it gives you a nice preview uh, by showing a check mark whatever files are uploaded and the uploading is almost done now it has uploaded all the files and immediately it shows us a preview of all the files that were uploaded and now we have multiple options if you want to share these uh, new album that you have created you can do that using facebook twitter and you can even upload these photographs if you like directly to the uh, facebook just hovering your mouse over a picture gives you a better preview but you can also open this image uh, in full resolution if you like just double click on the same and this will give you this handy view where you can easily view the image you can quickly move from one image to another using this option and we can do basic editing uh, if you like we also have this handy option of a slideshow where it will create a nice full screen slideshow using all your images. So these are some of the capabilities of this uh, Photo Station 5 that comes with the Synology NAS. This Synology Photo Station 5 also provides us a good amount of uh, privacy and security se settings. Right now this album is set to public so anybody uh, and we can also publish this on the web so that anybody can view the same. But let's say I do not want this album to be viewed by anybody and I want it only to be viewed by someone who knows a password for the same. And to password protect the same you can just click this more icon and in this album info and privacy settings. The first thing I'll need to do is change the access permission. It's a public album and I'll change it to a password protected album. And let's say uh, we will give the password as test and I, we can also enable comments so that users can give comments on our album and I press OK. And it says the action will clear the album's original access and upload rights. Do you want to continue? I say yes. And now if I let me try accessing this album on a different web browser. Let me open this. And it says uh, you get this lock icon and when I click on the same and now I get this prompt for a password. So until I enter this password, it won't allow me to view the album. So these are some of the privacy settings. Let me take this down. And we also get a lot of actually uh, privacy settings. You just go to the settings option and under photos, we get a lot of control. For example, the number of uh, albums per page and we also have overall access permissions. Uh, we can give uh, public access to all our photos, make it private, etc. So the Synology Photo Station 5 uh, 
has a lot of privacy options so that you have a better control about who downloads your photographs or who can actually uh, basically view your photographs. You can also assign usernames, etc. Another great app that we get with the Synology NAS is the audio station. And using this, we can actually play back uh, all of music that's on our NAS on any web enabled device. For example, I have loaded some of the music on basically the NAS and uh, I'm going to play that and let's say this is the song. I just double click that song and it should start playing. I'm going to pause it because I don't want to fall into copyright issues. We also get a lot of uh, radio stations also. For example, let's uh, click on this and it this is the radio station and it should start playing back. As you can see, it's playing back. So. Uh, this NAS is also ideal for people who have a lot of music and you can easily uh, listen to all your music on any computer using just a web browser. So this is the Synology audio station. Synology also provides us with the mobile apps using which you can control the entire NAS and we have apps for the iOS platform and even for the Android. I'm going to show you with an Android phone uh, but it will be very similar for an iPhone. We get these two apps by using which we can control our Synology NAS and the first one is the DS Finder and once you click on the same and now it's going to find our this station and it has found it once you click on the same you need to authenticate yourself uh, use the admin password I'm just going to do that once you have authenticated yourself uh, you'll come to a screen like this and I'll give you general info uh, about your NAS you can also go to the storage tab using the same and it'll give you an overview of the uh, storage available on your NAS. Other things that you can do with this is you can actually shut down the NAS. You can restart the NAS once you click on the menu icon and click on the more. You can restart the NAS. You can shut down the NAS. These are the actions you can do. And we can also control a lot of parameters for doing that. You hit the menu option and click on this DSM mobile and it'll open the stuff in the browser. And again, you need to enter your username and password and you just hit enter login. And once you are authenticated, you get this menu and you can actually uh, create users. If you like, you can manage the users with the same. You can also sh see your shared folders. It also gives you a resource monitor. You can monitor the CPU usage, the memory, etc. of your NAS. And under services, this is really interesting. You can enable or disable services directly from the mobile phone. You do not have to go to your NAS or a computer to change the services. For example, let's say I do not want the media server. I can just toggle it off or I want to switch on the iTunes server. I just toggle it. You can also change a lot of internet services like FTP service, file station, serverless station, etc. So you can uh, actually manage most of the services that are offered by the NAS using this mobile app. There's one more app that's known as DS Audio. And using this, basically, you can actually uh, listen to the audio that's available on your NAS directly on your mobile phone. For example, let's go to this. Um, I'm just going to select anything and we get this and if I click on this it should start playing the music as you can see it's playing the music I'm going to pause it again you can pause it so you can easily uh, basically uh, listen to the music using this DS audio app there's one more app by Synology called DS photo plus for the Android and using this basically you can view the photographs that are on your NAS for example, in the earlier demo, I have shown some of the photographs that we had uploaded and you can see these. I'm accessing them directly via this mobile app. And it's really easy to uh, basically see all your photographs and you get a lot of options. You can share these videos via email or clipboard. And you can also directly uh, create a new album using this application and upload the photos directly to your NAS. So this is again a handy application on your Synology NAS and it's known as DS Photo Plus. So these are some of the mobile apps that 
are provided with the Synology NAS and using that you can control your NAS. I hope you found this video helpful. That's it for now. This was Ranjit for tech2bus.com and hopefully I'm going to see you in my next video.